In my last video, I showed you how I installed this 60 gallon compressor in my garage. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how for about 15 bucks, you can make it really a lot more convenient to use. That little brass valve is the drain valve on the bottom of the compressor. You're supposed to open it up after each use so you can drain any condensation out so your tank doesn't rot from the inside. It's kind of a pain though because it's a thumb screw and over time it may bind up or strip out and become a little more difficult to turn. Plus it's on the bottom of the tank so you basically have to lay down on the floor and reach under there every time you want to open it up. But again, for about 15 bucks and using four readily available parts, you can make this much more easy to use. And here are the four parts. Again, I picked them up at uh, my local Ace. It's the most convenient store to me, but it's also the most expensive. So you can probably get these for a couple bucks cheaper if you go to one of the bigger box stores. You have two 90 degree street elbows, and they have to be the same thread size as your drain plug. So I just took mine with me and matched it up. In this case, mine were quarter inch. I need a six inch piece of uh, black steel pipe. And then this piece here is the most expensive. I think it was 10 bucks. All it is is a quarter inch ball valve. If you've never worked with this steel pipe before, might be a good idea to just put some degreaser on a rag and clean it up first because it's super greasy and it'll just keep your hands from getting completely dirty. Uh, now just take some Teflon tape and wrap all of the threads. Remember to go the opposite way than you are gonna be threading it into the fitting on the tank because if you put it the same way as you're threading it in, the tape's actually gonna peel off. Now we assemble. So obviously you can only get these fittings so tight by hand, so don't be surprised if you have to put it in a vise just to crank it down and get everything lined up right. Time to install the first 90. And that's it. Let's test it out and see how it works. That's it, that project is about as cheap and as easy as it gets, um, about $15, maybe a half hour of your time. And all of the parts that I used are listed in the description below this video, and it makes it really, really easy now to drain the, drain the condensation out of your compressor. You definitely don't wanna leave that in there because your tank will end up rotting from the inside over time. Uh, the parts that I got, again, I got them from Ace Hardware, but just find the same stuff if you're going to Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards. Uh, or tractor supply, any place like that that's in your area. And um, that's about it. So if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. And also I've had a bunch of people surprisingly request a PO box so they can send stuff. Uh, the PO box is also listed in the description. Feel free to send me whatever you want, I guess. Uh, I wasn't expecting any of that, but yeah, feel free to send stuff over. I'm happy to take a look at whatever you have. And uh, thanks a lot for checking out the video. See you on the next one.